It's product review time again. And this product came from banggood.com. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own money. So this is a laser pointer with some sort of diffracting lens on the end. It's the kind of old style pen type thing, so it has to have, I think, uh, two AAA batteries in it. Uh, it's not the ordinary red laser pointer. Let's see if we can figure out what colour it is. Now, it's supposed to unscrew along the midsection there, and it's not unscrewing. We've got a problem here. I can't get that undone. Hmm. The product website does make it very clear that that is meant to unscrew along the midline there. But I cannot get that to come undone. And I'm not really sure what I can do about that. That's not a good start, really. Um, I was hoping we would just be able to unscrew that and get it done. But it's a very lightweight alloy body. And I have a feeling that that's either been over tightened or somehow it's managed to kind of cold weld itself together. In which case we may never get it open. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, here we are back again. I have managed to now loosen that. It's got a bit of a weird grippy feeling at the top end of the thread there, which I don't really like. I had to put a piece of thick cloth around that section there and hold it with curved pliers and then grab hold of all of this and give it a turn and it came loose. So, there we go. Okay, there's no indication as to which way round the batteries have to go. No instructions. Uh, I doubt it says anything on that label. That's a laser warning label. There's a spring on that end, which I'm assuming is a spring that engages in the flat end of the battery. I guess We'll find out, won't we? There's a little dimple at that end which does tend to suggest that the batteries have to go in there flat side this way, uh, this way. so let's see if that turns out to be true. This could destroy it, or it could be right. Just yeah, let's give it a, that's tested okay. So here we go. So it's not very bright under um, normal room lit conditions because this is a ultraviolet or near ultraviolet laser. So let's turn the light off in the room and see what the effect is actually like then. Oh well, so it's a sort of the diffusing lens on there has got a st oh it's it's a bit like those Christmas lights where uh, it produces a lot of little dots that split and then recombine. So I don't know to what extent you can see that there. It does happen to be a little flake of something fluorescent on the table there, so that, that kind of proves it's a it's a purple laser. So let's put it up on the wall and see if you can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, the lens does unscrew off the end, although I don't think it's really supposed to. And you get quite a nice bright purple dot then that you could use in presentations and so on. Let's see what that looks like in room light conditions. Yeah, I think that could probably be quite easily used in a presentation room and so on so you can have a kind of purple laser pointer it's got a flattish beam actually it's like an oval shape to the beam so quite interesting and I shall use that because my favorite color happens to be purple so that's kind of cool to use in a presentation and we've got yeah when it's shone on things in the room. You can see it's got quite a bright little beam there to it. Let's find something fluorescent to shine it on. Okay, so two fluorescent things we can shine this on. One's a orange rubber dog ball and the other one is a pink fluorescent light-up dog collar. Not the cleanest of things but it will serve our purpose. So let's have a look and see what happens when we shine this light. There we go. So that causes those materials to fluoresce really nice and brightly. Right, the other thing you can do with a laser pointer or an, or an ultraviolet light such as this is to activate glow-in-the-dark material. Now I don't know how well that will be showing up on the camera here 
But let's see what that looks like in the dark. This is just a glow-in-the-dark dog retrieval toy. So I can use this laser to activate glow-in-the-dark material. It's actually quite good at that because ultraviolet actually energizes glow-in-the-dark material quite strongly. Okay, so my all-in-all -all review of this product. Uh, the diffuser lens on the end, I could take it or leave it. Really, honestly, that's a superfluous feature as far as I'm concerned. It does interest me that this is a nice purple laser. I think that's rather cool and unusual. The quality of construction isn't brilliant, and I'm a bit worried about the fact that I had to force that to get it to unscrew. But it's, this thing costs less than £3. It's a pocket money toy, really. You need to be really careful with this, it's bright, and it doesn't look bright, but you shine that in your eye, and I bet that could do some rather nasty damage. I think it's a 5 milliwatt laser, so it's something you'd have to be rather careful with, and keep that away from your eyes, and keep that away from your pet's eyes, so it's not, this is not one to play with the cat with. This is uh, something to use for experiments, or for presentations where there's no risk of shining it in someone's face. So there we go, that's that product. Um, would I recommend it? I guess if you want a cheap purple laser then go for it. I think if you want something that's going to last a bit longer and have a bit better build quality and maybe you don't have to take this diffuser lens off the end to get a single beam, maybe go for something a little bit more upmarket than this. But uh, I'm not unhappy with that for a couple of quid. I think that's actually not a bad little product. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.